This time last year, my dream life felt like it was very far away. Like, I always believed that I could achieve the things that I wanted, but I had a really hard time trusting that they were actually going to happen. It was like this version of myself that I wanted to be, the things that I wanted to achieve, it felt like they were a very distant future, a very separate part of myself. And for the first time, I actually feel like my dream life is just unfolding in front of me. Like the things that I've always tried to manifest are actually coming to fruition. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys some of the techniques that have been working for me. And I'm also gonna be sharing some of the things that have not been working for me. And I hate talking about manifestation this way because I know it's not like, like everyone's relationship with themselves and the universe is different, right? Like it's not like a wish list that you're bringing to Santa Claus, but I wanna share my experience. I think it'll really help some of you guys who maybe feel like, you know, the version of yourself that you wanna be is a very distant, future away, right? I'm also gonna share with you guys some of the things that I've manifested recently because again, like these techniques are like so powerful that I just wrote these things down in my journal and this was in February that I wrote these things down and they started happening for me like in March and April. So stay tuned for that as well. So the first thing I wanna talk about is speaking things into existence. And I think this is the thing that most of us picture when we're thinking about manifestation, right? Like we firmly believe that a certain future belongs to us. So we're trying to speak that future into existence, right? So I will be working for myself full time. I will have a boyfriend. I will have friendships in my life that help me grow as a person, right? Like we try to speak things into existence that we want to see come into fruition. And I used to do that a lot, right? Anything that I wanted to achieve in my life, I would sit with my journal and I would write down that I will in fact have this many subscribers by the end of the year. I would repeat it to myself. I would tell other people, I will achieve this thing. And I think that does work for a lot of people, but this method of manifestation still, I still I still struggled to see those things as a part of my current reality. I still kind of felt this disconnect between the person who I wanted to be and who I currently was because I was continuing to repeat to myself that I would achieve certain things. And so it still felt like it was in a very distant future. I was writing the things down. I wanted to believe them, but I still had a really hard time actually feeling that thing. But as I started learning more and as I started reading more books in 2020, I came across this book called Becoming Supernatural by Joe Dispenza. If you guys haven't read it yet, I definitely recommend it. This book really talks about how our mind truly does create our reality. And it goes, it talks about that from a very like scientific, like logical perspective. So if you're the kind of person who's like not super into spirituality and it's like very new to you and you're more into like facts and science, and this is a really good book for you. But that being said, that book really kind of taught me that I could actually train my mind to embody my future self in the present moment, right? Because again, your thoughts create your reality. So by changing your everyday thoughts, your everyday habits and behaviors, you can actually create your dream reality right now. And that's actually the only way that you can really manifest something is if you truly start embodying your dream self, right? So when you picture your dream self, picture what you would be doing every single day. If your passion is painting, then you don't have to wait until you're getting paid full time to paint to make time to paint, right? Like you'll make time to paint every single day, right? And so so everything that you want to achieve, you have to start walking in that in the present moment and that really starts with action. So the next thing that I started doing, which a lot of people don't actually see as a form of manifestation, but it is, is planning out my goals and getting very granular with them. So I have a video on my channel going into detail on this, but I basically started laying out my goals, right? Like we all have long-term goals, like yearly goals, right? But then every single month, I would start writing down my monthly goals. Every week at the start of the week, I would write down my weekly goals and then I would even write down my goals for each day. So if I wanted to achieve something in 2021, I would basically break down that goal into daily habits that I can implement into my everyday life in order for me to start embodying this dream version of myself that I wanted to be, right? So it sounds very, very simple, right? But you can apply this to basically anything that you want to achieve. This really just puts action behind your manifestation. It's one thing to speak something into existence. It's a totally other thing to start embodying who you want want to be every single day, right? So for me to reach a certain amount of subscribers on YouTube, this is one of my goals for 2021, I made it a goal to upload two to three times a week. And I can break that down into my daily calendar. I can plan out which days of the week I'm gonna post, which days of the week I'm gonna edit, which days of the
the week I'm gonna film, right? So it makes it very, very easy and it kind of makes your future self, your future goals a little bit more tangible. So again, I have a video on that. If you guys wanna go watch it, I'll link it down below. But that was what I really started doing kind of towards the middle of 2020. I want to say and that really again just put action behind my intention and it was very very transformative for me i started getting closer and closer to my goals so i really felt like my dream life was somewhat closer but i still struggled to feel like that reality actually belonged to me even though you're going through the motions your thoughts ultimately create your reality right so you firmly have to change your thought patterns in order to manifest the life that you desire and the way that i started doing this is through visual so I've heard about visualization a lot and I didn't start putting it into practice until February of this year And I'm gonna get into how I did that exactly in a second But let me just tell you guys the number one thing that has like accelerated and propelled me achieving the things that I've been wanting Was this technique right here like all the things that I've been trying to manifest the life that I desire The universe just started throwing them at me like crazy And the reason why this technique is so powerful is because instead of speaking about your goals and future tense you train your thought patterns to start behaving like you're already there so instead of saying that you will achieve something you want to affirm things as if they're already happening to you in the present moment so the way that i do this is through scripting and i learned about this actually from trinity's channel if you guys don't watch trinity i highly recommend her because this is the first time i had really heard someone go into detail about this and i started doing it and again it worked so when you're doing scripting you're writing down the future the things that you want to achieve as if they're already happening. When you're writing this down, you want to go into detail about exactly what's happening, how it feels, what are the little things that you're noticing, what are you wearing, who's with you, every little detail you can think of, and you want to express gratitude for those things, right? And so I'm gonna give you guys some examples. I'm gonna read you guys some of the things that I've recently manifested. The first one is was on February 22nd. I wrote, Thank you universe for blessing me with my dream job. I just got done editing another video and I'm so excited to post it. Ever since I started uploading more content about spirituality, it has been received so well on my channel. I'm helping a lot of people through the mentally and emotionally draining parts of life when they're realizing so much of what we've been taught was fake. I really feel a community forming where we are supportive, loving and helping one another grow. And we are starting so many conversations about who we really are and what we actually want to achieve out of life. And I'm so proud of myself. And in this, I go into more detail about certain numbers that I wanna hit. And this was something that I was actually trying to manifest for like very far out. Like I was picturing this to be me like five years from now when I was writing this. So I talk about like being married here and like living in a home and all these things. But like the main gist of this page was talking about making content that is actually true to me, having deep and meaningful conversations on my channel. And that actually started happening like in March, right? So like the timing of things, the way the universe works, when you're putting an intention out there, it will listen. So the next thing I'm gonna read is one more page from my journal. This I wrote on February 14th. And again, the intention behind this was to manifest something way further out in the future. And it happened for me like, in April. Thank you universe for blessing me with the Jeep Wrangler Sahara. It is exactly how I pictured it. All black, I can barely tell it was used, leather seats and just perfect for me. I love pulling into my building garage and parking my Jeep, getting out, I look at it and I'm reminded how hard I worked in the past year to get here. I'm vlogging and Deku is in the back seat. I love how he matches the car. I'm wearing an all black set from Pretty Little Thing. I didn't pay for it. My hair is in a slick back ponytail and I'm carrying my Telfar. Life is good. That's what I wrote down. <laughs> Bro, that is so crazy again like the way the universe works you never know how things exactly are gonna work you never know the timing but the intention behind it is very very much real right and so when you're picturing every little detail you're able to visualize and fully imagine yourself in that future moment expressing gratitude is one of the best ways that you can be in the present moment and so when you're expressing gratitude for something that you want to happen it's no longer becoming a part of your distant future right when we think about time we think about this linear 
line of past, present, and future. And a lot of times we're all caught up in the past or we're just really, really stuck on and trying to constantly live in and get to the future, right? But when you realize that all that you have right now is the present and you fully live in and embody that, and then you bring the future self that you want to your present moment, you are then already walking in your future self. Your mind is operating as if you've already achieved that thing. And naturally that thing already belongs to you, right? So you've already planned your goals. You know exactly what steps you need to take to get there, but you don't have to work too hard for it, right? You don't have to lose sleep over it. You don't have to stress about it. And this is probably the most important thing when it comes to manifestation. And this is the thing that I'm working on the most right now, because I definitely struggle with this, is surrendering to the universe and letting go of control. You're already putting the action behind your intent. You're already visualizing your future as if it's already happening to you because you know it belongs to you. So then you can trust and allow the universe to work through you at whatever timing it has planned for you, right? Because you never have to worry about the timeline when you're trying to manifest something. You never have to try to rush it. I promise you the timing is always right. God always knows exactly where you're meant to be, exactly when you're meant to be there. So when you're putting the action behind what you need to do, when you're putting the visualization, when you're putting the thoughts behind what you want to do, that's all you have to do, right? You're done. Like you've done your job. Let the universe do the rest of the job for you, right? So that is really the key to manifestation is those three things. It's the goal planning, the visualization, and the surrendering. That's what I've learned. It's the little holy trinity of manifestation. When I'm able to balance those three things, life is working out for me. I see, I can literally see my dream life unfolding right in front of me. And that's where I'm really feel like I'm at right now. Again, I struggle with the surrendering part. I'm struggling with that right now a little bit, but we'll get there, right? You balance it out and you might have ebb and flows. You might have some days where you're really struggling with the action part. You might have some days where you're really struggling to believe that your, your dream life belongs to you. But again, you can trust that everything is going to happen when it's meant to. The timing is always right and you will figure out your path as you go. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are working on the most. Are you working on putting more action behind your intent? Are you working on surrendering control to the universe? Are you working on visualization? Have you ever tried visualization? Let me know in the comments down below because I feel like I can learn a lot from you guys as well. I'm constantly learning from you guys and looking through the comments. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, if you guys are already subscribed, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.